What is Shia Nagi? A Shia Nagi is so one of us is there. If Jenny was blindfolded, she would think that I'm doing Shia Nagi. So about this point, my arm comes out and I just end up a different shape. And she's blindfolded, she didn't know about the arm coming out there, because all she knows is she has the same feeling with you did? I don't know if you yeah, did. I did, yeah. <laughs> so she has the same feeling with one and the other. And that's how you start piling your Aikido techniques together. And you go, oh yeah, well that one feels like that one and that one. So you've got to experience these popping in what are called, oh, this is the same room as that one. Are they painted all the rooms the same? So this is how you build your Aikido. When, when they go, God, it's just too many techniques to remember. There isn't, as long as you stick to the same format. You go here, and she's not falling down. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll give her this a rim maggie. That's when they're individual. When you can get them... and bring your arm through, and you're the only person doing it, then the only difference is the arm. That's fine without touching. But that's being caught up in the same energy. I'm doing I'm doing exactly the same as Jenny. But I'm just doing short footwork. Don't do that one. <laughs> um, okay, so so do it again. The Remanag and Shianagi should be experienced the same to them. But you're doing this one hand, you're doing this two hands. There's lots of there's lots of variations. You know, you can you can do this one where you go on the outside, tap the hand, put the skin to the shoulder. You know, variations on variations. So here, moving quick. Oh, at the moment, get the elbow on the shoulder. Okay. So I don't want to confuse too much. <laughs> Try some sheer naggies, try some marimis, put, put them together and see if you can make the only difference that last part of the arm. If they're not falling on the sheer naggy, you shouldn't need the arimanagi to secure it. Okay, so that's your goal.